Hello guys, my name is Austin and I'm the webmaster at awfulmedia.com. Uh, welcome to my very first Photoshop tutorial on YouTube. The first of many, I hope. Hope this goes well. The only reason I'm making this tutorial at the moment is because my internet is having issues and I am not able to uh, work on a part for the web design series. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that pretty soon. We will see. But in the meantime, I would like to uh, just show everyone a little trick. It's just a very simple technique in Photoshop to create a uh, nice little fall-off type shadow off of, in this case, text. But I guess it could be applied to any type of image you desire. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to have to do is create a new document, obviously. So in our case, we're going to be using the shadow technique on text. So let's grab the text tool over here. And we're just going to click inside the canvas. And I'm going to type awful media. It's all caps then. Awful media. Just like that. What I want to do really quickly is center this within the canvas. And a way to do that in Photoshop is to select what you want to center. And select what you want to center it within. So in our case, it's the background layer. We're going to select both of those. Go layer, align, and align horizontal centers. You can also do it for vertical and other things as well. So now what we're going to do is duplicate our awful media layer, our text layer. We're going to right click and click duplicate layer. We're just going to call it shadow. Shadow. Okay. We're going to drag that below our awful media a text layer and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit transform oh beforehand we need to right click on this uh, text layer we're going to rasterize it now what that means is at the moment it's a vector text file Photoshop is able to uh, create it out of vector shapes but we're not able to edit the uh, the properties for the size of the shape or the size of the text in this case using the uh, transform tool where we're going to want to do it so we have to convert it to a rasterized image and what we have to do is just right click and click rasterize type and that creates a uh, pixel based image of the vector image we had beforehand so we'll go ahead and do that so now it's not scalable and it's not editable uh, like you cannot scale it up without seeing the pixels obviously because there now there is a set number of pixels within this uh, text here. But anyway, enough blabbering about that. Edit. Transform. And we're going to grab perspective right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push this over like that. And we're going to grab the corner here and squeeze it together just a little bit. Let's push it over some more. Just like that. And we're going to confirm those changes. Then I'm going to hit Control T on the keyboard, and I'm just going to drag this down. All that does is scales the image down. So now we have that. And now you can already see what we're going for here, and it's working out already. We're going to push this image up one pixel there, so it doesn't have it below the image, or below our text. And then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and add a Gaussian Blur. And we're just going to go with like 0.7 uh, pixel blur. And hit OK. And there we go. It looks pretty good already. We're going to create this, or uh, sorry, change this to a multiply blend mode. That way it'll uh, work well if you have any type of images or anything on a layer below it, on a, you know, like a background image. It will uh, blend well with that image. And we're going to lower the opacity down to about 70%. There we go. And we can change the text color to, uh, let's go with like a blue color. Ooh, not that color, blue, it's ugly. Something like that. And we can see it's pretty effective, it looks pretty neat. We could also, if you wanted to get kind of crazy, just, uh, blare it out some more, or we could erase, uh, like make have like a, like a drop off at the end of it. Whatever you really wanted to do. So we just grab the eraser tool here. I'm going to size it up a wee bit, about 100 pixels. 
I'm going to come in here and we can, uh, on the shadow layer, holding shift, just drag it across the end there. And get something like that. Uh, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's really, really simple. And now it's, it's easy to edit. And uh, you can do it to pretty much anything. So yeah, if you have any questions or you'd like to uh, see this done a different way or you'd like some other techniques on creating these type of things in Photoshop, please do leave a comment. That would mean a lot. And if you like the video, please like it. If you did not like the video and you want to uh, waste your time and tell me how, I would really appreciate it. That would be awesome. I'd like to know why things aren't being received well. And uh, yeah, I do know this was a simple tutorial, but like I said, I am just waiting for my internet to resolve its issue. Go Xfinity. It's kind of been giving some issues lately. But uh, thank you for stopping by, and subscribe for future videos.